Bees. Welcome to Stelio. Most of us are afraid of bees. In fact, a single bee can ruin an entire summer day. But should we be so scared of these important insects? There are about 20,000 different types of bees in the world. Honeybees, the ones that make the honey we all love, can be found all over the world. The honeybee is the only social insect whose colony can survive many years. This is because they have a plan to survive winter months. They huddle together and eat honey when it's cold and there are hardly any flowers. A beekeeper is a person who keeps honeybees. The beekeeper collects honey and other products that the hive produces, like beeswax, propolis and pollen. The location where bees are kept is called an apiary or a beehive. Beehives have hexagonal cells in them, packed together. This is called a honeycomb. This is Sebastian. Sebastian is a beekeeper. He keeps bees as a hobby and today he took us along to do a beehive inspection. First, Sebastian puts on his beekeeping suit. This is to ensure that he doesn't get stung by the bees while inspecting the hive. Next, he lights up the smoker. He will use it to blow smoke before opening the beehive. The smoke helps keep bees calm during hive inspection. Every beehive has a queen, worker bees and drones. The queen runs a whole hive. Her job is to lay the eggs that will spawn the hive's next generation of bees. The queen also produces chemicals that guide the behavior of the other bees. Worker bees are all female and their roles are to forage for food, pollen and nectar from flowers, build and protect the hive and also clean and circulate air by beating their wings. Workers are the only bees most people ever see flying around outside the hive. Drones are the male bees and their purpose is to mate with the queen. Several hundred live in each hive during the spring and summer. But come winter, when the hive goes into survival mode, the drones are kicked out. Bees make honey in a process that has some very clear steps. First, the bees collect nectar from flowers and store it in their honey stomach. A bee has to visit more than 100 flowers to fill its honey stomach. Next, the bee will pass the freshly collected nectar onto other bees from the hive. These bees will chew the nectar for up to half an hour to evaporate the moisture. After that, the bees will spread the honey over the wax comb and dry it further by fanning their wings. Once the honey is dry enough, it will be dropped and stored into the cells of the honeycomb. The life cycle of honeybees consists of four stages, from an egg, larva, pupa to an adult bee. This entire process varies lengthwise amongst the different honeybees. It takes about 16 days for the queen, 18 to 22 days for the worker bees, and 24 days for the drones. Here are 15 amazing facts about bees. Unlike bumblebees, which can sting multiple times, honeybees can only sting once. Their stingers are barbed and tear off when they try to get away. This kills them. Did you know that only female bees sting? A bee's stinger is part of their reproductive design. Only the queen can use it for reproduction, but all female bees can sting. Bees can see all colors except the color red. How interesting is that? Bees are the most important insects in the world, and we need bees in order to survive. This is because bees drop pollen while they are flying, which helps pollinate other flowers and plants. This allows plants to keep growing, which keeps our air breathable. The buzz you hear around a bee is the sound of their wings beating thousands of times per minute. If the queen bee dies, workers will create a new queen by selecting a young larva, the newly hatched baby insects, and feeding it a special food called royal jelly. This enables the larva to develop into a fertile queen. The average worker bee lives for just five to six weeks. During this time, she'll produce around a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. 
the queen can live up to five years. She is busiest in the summer months when she can lay up to 2,500 eggs a day. Honeybees are also brilliant dancers. To share information about the best food sources, they perform their waggle dance. When the worker returns to the hive, it moves in a figure of eight and waggles its body to indicate the direction of the food source. Honeybees are fabulous flyers. They fly at a speed of around 25 kilometers per hour and beat their wings 200 times per second. Bees have one serious sense of smell. They use this to communicate within the hive and to recognize different types of flowers when looking for food. Bees have five eyes and six legs. For generations, honey has been used as a medicine. Some eat honey to treat cuffs, others apply honey on minor burns and scratches. If stored properly, honey will never go bad. Over time, honey can darken and crystallize, but it will still be safe to eat. Local raw honey has unique flavors. To help with allergies, you need to have local raw honey. This will ensure that the honey has the allergens native to the area you live in. Sadly, over the past 15 years, colonies of bees have been disappearing, and the reason remains unknown. We can all do our bit to support this brilliant bug. Why not plant flowers rich in nectar, such as lavender and bluebells, which will help bees find the food they need? And when your family are buying honey, try to choose varieties that are locally made to support our honeybees and their beekeepers.